So, if you've been following recent updates, you definitely noticed that Minecraft is changing. A lot, and I mean a lot. To the point where it doesn't even seem vanilla anymore. Like, what even is this? Automatic crafter? The thing Moyang said they would literally never add. And I believe this will continue to happen. Most importantly, I think it's not that bad. Which, I know, may seem like it goes against one of my recent videos, but stick with me to see how Minecraft will change forever, and why I don't hate it. First of all, let's begin comparing this with this. Especially the warden. I mean, let's be real, nothing about this reminds you of the old Minecraft, and that's because it's simply not the same thing. Just look at who made the warden, King Bidox, the literal creator of one of the best mods in all of Minecraft history. The Eater mod, and now he calls for Minecraft. So let's check some Eater mods to better understand what I mean. We have Rock Eye Thingy, or in this case, Naris is the slider who slides around the air or something. But I think the thing that makes Rocky here different from your average Minecraft, well, everything, is that when the fight starts, it traps you inside with it. You can't destroy the wall blocks, it's restrictive, which is kind of weird for a game based on placing and breaking blocks to just make this mechanic essentially irrelevant. Now the Warden. There is one key thing about it that even Moyang says. It's not a mob that you are meant to fight. It's a mob that you are meant to avoid. And yeah, it doesn't destroy blocks like Nair Wizzeries, but its mechanics, in my opinion, resemble those of either bosses. It is, in general, location limited, it has attacks that just go straight through blocks, and it's specifically made it to make you not fight while exploring the ancient cities. Think about this with me, is this something Notch would ever have in the game? Heck, is this something that we could have ever seen in Minecraft, say, 6 years ago? I'd argue it's not. And all of this is what makes the Warden so different. It not only limits the player in a certain way, but it is also, in general, very unique compared to anything before, signaling a very clear change in development for the game. Now, everything I said is just nothing compared to what's to come. Like, literally, 1.21 is just so weird in the Minecraft sense, that is. Seriously, what is this? A trial chamber looking straight out of a mod, which isn't bad, but this type of structures with, well, procedurally generated chambers is not the kind of thing you would expect from vanilla Minecraft, and it's also a thing we've been asking for years, which normally, knowing Moyang, is how you can tell something is not going to be added. But on a serious note, what I mean is, this resembles more the structures of mods like Eater or any of the other how many mods are things like this? Well, a a lot of them. The more back in time we go, the most alien new Minecraft seems in comparison. There is one thing that's kind of old and a bit forgotten that I think marks when Minecraft started losing its 100% sandbox concept, the Ocean Monuments from the 1.16 update that came right in with the Wither boss and it features quite a lot of things I mentioned before. The mining fatigue of the Elder Guardian is the biggest example of a restrictive mechanic in Minecraft, it literally makes it so you can't break blocks blocks, kind of the key thing about the game, and the attacks from guardians literally just go through them. I'd argue this is kind of the reason why this is one of the most forgotten things in Minecraft, it doesn't have any interesting look, and it just never fit in the game that much until more recently, where it certainly isn't forgotten. What did you even get for exploring it? Sponges? And there wasn't anything else to do in the ocean, except for ocean monuments, sand, gravel, and squids. We'll come back to those later, but the most important thing you have to talk about is this isn't limited or even mostly about mechanics, it's about the design of Minecraft itself. So, design, I would say the clearest delimitation of when Minecraft became a quote unquote new game is the texture pack changing 1.6.1. I mean, it literally changes everything about the way that the game looks, but with time, this change in design language is not limited to blocks and items. Mob design is just not the same thing at all, and I'll 
I'll use the biggest example of this. The gas. Look at this blocky thing. I made this incredibly pixelated design. It's literally just a flying block with tentacles that move in always the same way. No fancy movements or animations. The attack quote unquote animation is just a sprite change between the two different faces that exist. And the pixels don't even follow the pattern of other mobs. They're much bigger than on anything else in the game. Let's compare now to the cutest mob in Minecraft. A face that everybody loves. The Ravager. A big mob but with pixels to scale and this beautiful complex attack animation. And no, this wasn't made by a modder. This was made by the Moyang team. What was made by a modder who now works in Minecraft, aka the same warden guy, is the Strider. Look at the way it walks, this cute thingy. I think it tells you everything about new Minecraft. It's no more stuck pixels and simple movements. It's cool animations, fluidity, and this trend in general is not in you. It has in fact started quite a while ago, and unironically, the thing that made this clear is a mod. Mock Creatures is a very old mod that you probably know. First release for 1.6.4 version, it has a lot of new animals with the idea of this being somewhat close to vanilla Minecraft, including some that were added to the game later. So let's check the differences between Mock Creatures mobs and vanilla mobs added later. This is the fox from the mod, squared, simple, even the ears are 2D and stuck together. And now look at the official fox, the design is cartoonish, the animations are fluid, and just look at how they slip, so cute. Now let's check something else, the dolphin. Look at how different it is, one is a lot more rigid, just like basically all mobs at the time of the mod release, while the other is fluid, with beautiful animations. In my opinion, things like this just don't fit into a world like this. Minecraft is a new world, it's not the same as it was back in 1.7 and it is apparent in the design language like nothing else. Or actually, there is something I haven't mentioned yet, the zombie piglins. They are literally just a reskin of the old zombie pigmen and they're different, more 3D, more fluid, more everything. It's a new version of an old mob in a new Minecraft world. But there is something more, something about this game that just makes it different than what it was. And I feel like that is, it's just not lonely anymore. Old Minecraft was, to say the least, lonely. And I'll say this is, or used to be, one of the pillars that made the essence of the game. Just as important as mining, crafting and poisonous potatoes. It is the DNA of what Minecraft used to be. The only thing that reminds you of anything nearing a civilization were stupid villagers, which only serve for dumb overpriced trades and should be killed by the player. Now, with many updates comes many, and I mean many structures. The villagers aren't dumb anymore, well not that dumb, certainly not useless, and the villagers are on nearly every major biome. Everywhere you look it's full of ruined portals, the ocean is filled with shipwrecks and abandoned loot. The nether is steaming with a whole piglin civilization you can trade with. This game apparently even has lore now. Piglins in the nether, illagers on mansions, villagers like everywhere bothering you. There is always so much happening. And I'm talking in lonely in the sense of empty, natural, mostly just forests and deserts. Now there's all of this complexity that I think also started a bit with the ocean monument. The first of the structures with mobs clamped together with challenges and loot. And it's now just one of many that populate the square earth. All of the structures and things resembling civilizations are just everywhere. Which honestly, I like it. The thing is, this is just something that on older versions you would get mostly with things like mods that added all of these crazy structures like ships and balloons and are now not that far off from the vanilla experience. Let me make this clear, none of this is necessarily bad in my opinion, I love the new Minecraft the way it is and I love old Minecraft too. It's just most of the new things, fluid animations, complex less pixelated designs and simply everything about the new things that are added is just not the same type of game stuff we had on older versions. This is why when you hear Minecraft is becoming like a mod, that's because it is. It is becoming just like a mod. Heck, everyone is talking about the automatic crafting, which is literally something Moyang said they would never add to Minecraft and was present in many mods. But trial chambers and just procedurally generated dungeons the way they are adding are just something present on so many mods too, including the aforementioned
mentioned either mod and it never materialized in game until now. I think all of this, a lot of it made literally by a mod creator who now is one of the main developers at Mojang, tells you everything you need to know about the future of Minecraft as a whole. You can expect the game to be less and less vanilla and more complex and mod-like. And honestly, this was certainly going to happen. I mean, there's just so much you can add while trying to keep the origin of Minecraft intact. And if that's something you're interested in, there is a mod that tries to do just that. Check the video in the corner about the Better Than Adventure mod. If you like this, I'm sure you will love that video. But let me remind you, this is not an indie game made by a small team anymore. It's a billion dollar game by a trillion dollar company. And this is the reason why a player from 1.8 coming to 1.20 would barely understand a thing. And not because they don't know the changes, but because Minecraft's essence is slowly dying. And it's being replaced with a new way to play the game. Almost even a new game, cause that's what sells new copies and keeps the community alive. Especially with the younger demographics that don't feel such things as nostalgia towards Minecraft. It's easy to look back at the changes from the point of view of somebody who grew up with the old game. But for these new kids that are just starting to play the game, this is the Minecraft they will grew up with. But well, this is just my stupid opinion. Tell me what you think down below. This is Karma. See you some other day.